Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, what I'm going to be doing or what this is for is basically my quest to single figures as a golfer. I'm currently playing off 13. My name's Graham. Um, my Twitter is the Grumpy Golfer. I'm not sure whether my YouTube's Graham McKenzie or the Grumpy Golfer. More the other. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to be doing over the course of the next few months is I'll be I'll be vlogging my progress from currently as I say 13 down to single figures. Um, hopefully by the end of the summer I'll be looking at between seven and eight handicap realistically. Um, some of you might be thinking that's a big ask. Previously I've played off four so it's not too much of a massive jump for me. Um, the reason I'm playing back off 13 at the minute is I had a massive break from sort of the age of 25, 26, to, to sort of two years ago when I was 31, yeah, whole 32, 33, even 34 this year, so yeah, um, big break, um, obviously break was that long, lost my handicap, but my first handicap back was last summer, um, which was 13, so yeah, um, looking at getting back down to Calgary 1. Eventually, oh, it's probably going to be next year. Realistically, but I said my first quest is to to single figures. When I'm looking again, like say to to seven or eight by the end of the summer. Um, today's vlog, my first vlog, was going to be a range vlog. Um, obviously, today's the second of January. This will be posted a little bit later. Though, um, but um, yeah, so um, should have been a right range vlog of me on the range, hitting balls, going through what I'm working on. Um, but things happen, and I end up playing playing around this morning. Um, conditions were, were pretty good considering a couple of greens were frozen which was frustrating because um, they, they cost me a really really low score. Walked in at 79 um, today so I'll take it. It's it's not not the end of the world. Um, so I'm kind of kind of happy with that. So yeah basically what these vlogs are going to be is my progress down to, to single figures. Um, um, You'll see what I'll show. What you'll be showing is, is sort of vlogs like this. Me in my room, so in quiet place. I've got in the house. Um, I don't have an office, unfortunately. Kids, um, but yeah. So I'm in my room. Um, where was I? Yeah. So there'll be vlogs like this. On how I've done throughout the day. How I'm feeling regarding my progress and so on. Um, any questions you want to ask? Ask and I'll answer them. Um, Range vlogs, me on the range, what I'm working on, and obviously there'll be bits and bobs of me on the course. Um, I don't know what my playing partners will be like with a camera in the face, to be honest with you, so we'll have to play that one, but yeah. Um, I will do a what's in the bag, um, just not right now because my clubs are in the car and they need a bath. Um, so that'll probably be potentially Saturday um, when they've been cleaned and I'm back on the course. It won't be, they won't be clean until Thursday stroke Friday. Um, but there'll be a range session or two before then. Um, what is in the bag is um, a bit of a mixed bag at current. Um, I've always been a tailor-made fanboy. Um, apart from putters, I've never used a tailor-made putter, but woods, irons, wedges, bags, tailor-made, always. I think pretty much my second set of adults clubs is tailor-made, and I've not been back to anything else since then. Part of my six month period where I used a Callaway X Tour, rapidly moved straight back to TaylorMade. Um, just didn't like them. Just personal preference, they were great clubs. I just didn't like them. Um, so currently, um, as I say, things changed club wise. Well, my bag itself changed. Um, Christmas Day, things changed a little bit up until Christmas Day. I was using TaylorMade Super Quad. R7 Super Quad and a Taylor made R11 driver. Um, why was I using two? Um, simply because I had the Taylor lead the Super Quad custom fit um, the November before it came out the following year um, on the Taylor made tour bus. And it goes a long way. A long way. Probably for me personally and with my numbers, 15 to 20 yards further than the 2015 16 M1. Might hit the new one. Um, it's a lot longer, and dispersion wise, there's no difference. When I'm big high cut, big snap hook with the, the, the super quad or the R1, there's no difference. 
uh, the R11 was an impulse buy eBay buy seen it new white driver let's get some of that um, I wasn't custom fit so I'm a lot shorter with that than I am with R7 however depending on where I'm playing I'm straight here to dart I'm very very straight with that I very I rarely miss fairways but I'm I'm sure probably 225 230 carry with that so yeah that's a long way short of my my normal carry would be 270 um, on a good day so 270 I'll be around 255 260 um, so that's the driver however Christmas day I swapped to the Mizuno JPX 850 now like you're saying it's a bit of a strange move tailor made to the Mizuno Mizuno are not renowned for him making huge huge drivers long drivers um, but just before Christmas or November time I tested the the JPX 850 the Callaway Fusion um, the Titleist 915 is it 915? yeah 915 because 917 hasn't come out yet um, and the M1 albeit not the new M1 and distance wise Five yards of difference between all three of them. Nothing worth writing over that. The dispersion on the Callaway Tylist and Taylor made was big, it was wide. Um, when it was straight, it was straight, but when it was wide, it was wide. So, with the Mizuno, probably the shortest of the four, like I said, by five yards. However, it was by far the straightest. A, a, a bad shot was five. Eight yards off the fairway, <coughs> whereas the others were off the planet, off the fairway. So yeah, it's a big difference, especially when I'm looking at single figures to get to. I need to be as straight as possible. I am always using the 2014 Taylor Made, um, 2014 Tour Preferred Muscle Counties. So the four to seven iron are have the speed pockets on, so slightly spring your face, get a little bit more distance. Um, leather spinning, um, whereas the 8 to pigeon wedge are obviously forged and muscle wax. Wedges are a little bit of a mixed bag. I'm using a raw Callaway X forged 52, a Taylor made TP 56, and a Callaway Mac Daddy 2 club wedge. They won't be getting changed anytime soon. Um, they will be the next things that could change there, whereby probably by the end of the middle to end of summer I'll be using all my daddy's putter. Um, was changed in November due to a head off. Um, I volleyed my old um, white hot tour number five, then the shaft. Could have quite easily changed the shaft, but I just thought, you know, I'll just get a new putter. So I'm now using the Odyssey Metal X milled number nine high tag. To be honest, is the best putter I've ever had. By far, the best putter I've ever had. So that I don't envisage that being changed at all for a long time. A bag, tail made carry bag, and balls. Balls are really funny when I've always used tailor made TPs or tall preferred um, for for a long time before that Pro one. But recently, sort of October time, I swapped over to the Chrome Soft by Callaway. I don't think I'll change back. It's a great ball, and um, at Christmas I started using the uh, the Truvis, um, so like the, the like the little footballs, um, and yeah, it's a great ball. Um, so that's my gear, wise clothes, boys. Oscar Jacobson, simply because it fits. It's I'm a bit of a porker, um, so I can't look at you know, your Nike at the minute because it's just fitted. Um, your Adidas is fitted. Calvin Green is fitted. Everything's fitted. Oscar Jacobson doesn't seem to be it fits. Um, so I wear it's comfortable, the WPS system works so that's pretty much my in the bag obviously you'll see that live at the weekend, I'll do a little vlog on that um, but yeah that's me, so subscribe, like, ask any questions you want to ask follow me on Twitter, as I say the Grumpy Golfer, at the Grumpy Golfer um, Graham, Graham R McKenzie is my Instagram and I think it's Graham McKenzie's my YouTube or the Grumpy Golfer, it's one or the other um, but yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.